Guys, you won't believe the nightmare I'm having. Today's challenge, can we do a nice 360 handbrake turn in this car park? Let's try. Whoosh! Not bad, not bad. Morning guys from Same Lisbury, Same Lisbury near Clitheroe, near Preston, near Blackburn. We're uh, here to take a look at Britain's biggest player in the military industrial complex. Ooh, the little Toyota was certainly breaking the 50 mile an hour speed limit going into BAE Systems. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. British Aerospace Systems rebranded as BAE Systems. I'll let the big noisy things go past. BAE Systems is a publicly listed company on the London Stock Exchange. I believe it forms part of the 100 biggest corporations in the United Kingdom. It is, of course, a profit-making organization. Its business is war and killing, and they have two massive fighter jets at their entrance. So let's go and have a look. Funnily enough, opposite the uh, big war games uh, factory, there's Thwaites, the brewery. They make ales, beers, other fine English concoctions, and they've got quite a large site. But I brought the sat-nav around the back of BAE, and I was driving all confused, and the, the, the Google navigation was trying to get me into some Checkpoint Charlie-style security gate, and I was like, well... But I just wanted to say to you guys, the, the site here, many hectares, it's huge. Just Google Maps it. The BAE at Samlesbury. How do you pronounce that? Samlesbury. You know, guys, all this talk of uh, fighter jets and uh, profit-making military-industrial complex has got me in the mood to prepare my big white balls, and we're going to do some target practice here. Got no radar, got no infrared, just old-school David versus Goliath, and today's Goliath will be grey pole. Now, my uh, aim will be all messed up by the balance of the camera, but we'll try anyway. Close. Let's try with the other ball. Let's try with the other ball. Here we go. 289 pole. Meet thy maker. Ugh. Yes! And let's give you context. How far away am I? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine meters away, and I got him. Okay, still chuffed. I managed to hit the pole for you all with my two big white balls. Well, one big white ball. I'm just coming along the security perimeter here. Nice little no man's land. Very prison-esque. You've got your tall one with razor wire. And then you've got the older one here. Very old. Look at this. Built in the 70s. This kind of stuff. You know, that kind of thick plastic on it. Focus. Focus, focus. Do it for me. No, it's not going to focus. So, yeah. Let's go to the entrance. We're going to do something slightly different today, just to, just to mix it up a bit. When we get to the main entrance, I'm going to be 100% upfront and honest, but I'll try speaking in a foreign accent. Okay, I'm stealing this idea from Auditing Britain, but you got to mix it up a bit. Morto bene! Just get my moan in, still walking along the main roads. It's a very big complex, and you know, you got to be careful when you come and film stuff like this. The security, the police, the bloody control freaks, they love... They love watching you get into your car, taking your license plate number down, inventing a few lies just to mess with you. And next thing you know, you're on the motorway down to Manchester, you get pulled over by armed police, and nobody's happy. So, I've, there's nowhere else to park. It's all military land, it's all farmland, private. So I parked two miles away to keep my car out of the picture. We've made it guys, we're outside the entrance to BAE Systems. On my left, you have the new F-35 Joint Strike Fighter. Brand new, super expensive, super stealthy. And it puts the heebie-jeebies into the uh, hearts of the military planners of China, North Korea, Russia, Iran, etc. Now this one here, 
That, ladies and gentlemen, is not a MiG-21. That is a British Electric Lightning. The first ever British fighter jet capable of traveling over twice the speed of sound. And it served in the 60s, 70s, and up into the late 80s when the Panavia Tornado kind of took over everything. So let's get a bit closer. I very much doubt these are actual... Of course they're not. They're just fiberglass models. Let's go and have a look. What lovely jets. Sorry, what lovely fiberglass shells of jets. I'm going to pan the camera around because I've already noticed security looking at me. They must be reminded that photography, videoing from public land is not a crime. So I'll come around slowly. We'll do a little zoom in, see if there's any issues with the man. I very much doubt there will be. He's just going to look at me. As I, as I said outside the immigration center, I give off that YouTuber vibe. But these guys are bored. They get a chance to do a bit of the old Jason Bourne. They can do it. Ah, that's the road I walked for two miles. Okay, we're here at the front security gate of British Airspace. I think there's a war memorial down there. I can't not read the writing. You guys are going to have to help me. Is it a war memorial? No, it's not, is it? It's a health and safety mantra memorial. Let's try and recognize those planes, guys. I think the left one's a Lancaster, then the Lightning, then the Eurofighter, and then the F-35. No love for the Tornado, but maybe the Tornado wasn't a British aerospace creation. You know, sometimes I've got to take my woolly hat off and uh, just uh, show off my balding head because I think uh, certain YouTubers wear a woolly hat and pretend they're not bald, whereas I am bald. And I wear the woolly hat because it's cold. So, security fence behind me. I just want to say to all the auditors, I've been watching Focus Pocus this morning. Very high quality vids. I managed to get it, the YouTube app, wor app working on a 60 inch Samsung and seeing high quality auditing footage, 60 inch, whew! Guys, we're in the golden age for auditing right now, for um, collecting photons in places that we're legally allowed to because it's that kind of, weird point between the end of the war on terror and uh the great reset and everyone's confused nobody knows who the enemy is turns out the government's telling us that we are the enemies we need to act as if we are infected with the bug so you auto you auto enemyize yourself and uh you go from there now i don't think anyone's going to come out and bother me because i am still stood on public land I've not made any attempt except to wave and smile at the security guard and he just looked at me like a stern Jason Bourne. Not interested. Not interested. Anyway, we've got to stick around a bit longer. You're not going to watch this unless there's conflict. Okay, let's do a little panoramic swipe. Swing by, drive by, film by, move smartphone across by. A lot of fluorescent jackets around. Tennis ball color. Everyone looks like they're the ball at Wimbledon. Let's come around. It says, stand out this werter. I'm sure it meant to say winter. Stand out this werter. Caution. Icy conditions. There's my friend hiding behind the post. Hiding behind the post, not showing his face. There's that stupid memorial. There's that stupid big ball of gas burning brightly billions of miles away. Stupid Helios. Who does he think he is? And here, just to prove I am on the most epic public property, Check it out, guys. I'm actually on a family and cycle lane. I love how they put the no smoking in at the bottom. Walking along, minding my own business, and this bad boy turns to face me. It turns to face me. I've raised my hand saying, what? What? Let's see if he turns even more to face me. Let's see if he turns. Yes, he's turning. He's turning. Come on, British Aerospace. You're better than this. I'm not even a Russian bot. Come on. Hi, everyone. So there is still a chance that the police are going to come along. Behind me, you can see the very long two-mile road <gasps> I've walked to uh, leave the British Aerospace site. Now, it's quite interesting when there is zero response except a man in fluorescent staring at you from his uh, cabin. So, there's one of two reasons why they may do nothing. 
And the first one is very obviously is that they do not consider you a threat. They don't think you're scary. They don't think you're a Russian agent, Iranian agent, Chinese agent, whatever, yeah? So nothing happens. But the second one is quite interesting. The second reason why nothing happens is related to the first, but they quickly realize what you're doing. The whole photography is not a crime thing. You're baiting for a reaction, an over-the-top reaction from the security services. You're wanting some sort of drama and they refuse to give it to you. So they're like, ah, we see what you're doing there, Mr. Charlie Beach, and you're not getting it. Which in a way, it's exactly the same as having keys to the planet. You know, like the mayor will give you keys to the city. Well done, you're a good citizen. Once you've earned your way to the point where you can walk anywhere, right up to the gates of military complexes, big companies, banks, police stations, in a way, that is real freedom. When you don't even need to go through the conflict and the drama. Okay, we're at Meller Brook on the A6063. We're out of here. We're almost at the car. We're about two, three streets away from the car. But I'm gonna hover for a bit because I'll show you why. Their spies and cameras are probably still following me. Where is it? See that big um, gray fence? barbed wire fence with the big installation that's British aerospace so let's be careful god damn it I wasn't counting on the lights going red and revealing my bloody position to these bastards I was hoping it was green so I could blast by now I need to stop filming so I don't look like the guy okay guys we've got the cruise control and it screwed me again come on go green go green go green I've done another drive-by past British aerospace to get the shot and I've, for God's sake, how's it always red? I'm on the main road.